All right, so here's part two of probability. Uh, so let's look at the next problem. So remember from the first video that the, the probability of an event occurring is the number of successful outcomes over the number of possible outcomes. All right, so let's take a, a look at another problem. So let's suppose we have this, let's suppose we roll a fair six-sided die. Die. Remember that it's two dice, one die. Okay. So find the following probabilities. All right. So we have a six-sided die. So let's write out the sample space. So the sample space. Well, we can either get a one, a two a 3, a 4, a 5, or a 6. So that's all the possible outcomes. Okay. So they want to know what's the probability of rolling an even number. Okay. All right, so the probability that we get an even number, well, let's count the number of successful outcomes. Well, there's one, two, three even numbers. So the probability would be three, the number of successful outcomes, divided by the number of possible outcomes, which is six. And so this probability would be one half. Okay. Let's look at the next one. The probability of rolling at least a two, at least a two. So at least a two, we'll call that event E. So the probability of event E at least a two. That means we get a two, a three, a four, a five, or a six. At least a two, that's two or higher. So there's one, two, three, four, five, so the probability is the number of successful outcomes, which is five, over the number of possible outcomes, which is six. Okay. All right, let's look at the next one. The probability of rolling at most a four. Okay. Let me go ahead and rewrite the sample space. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. The probability of rolling at most a four. So that means the most it can be, the highest number it can be, is a four. So we want everything from four down. So that's going to be, we can get a four, a three, a two, or a one. So the probability, and at most a four, we'll call that event E. So the probability of E is the number of successful, one, two, three, four, over the number of possible, which is six, and so that's two thirds. All right, what about the probability of rolling a number greater than two? Okay, greater than two. Well, the greater than two, we're going to call that event E. So the probability of E, let's see, greater than two. So that would mean that the two is not included because we want it greater than two. So what all is greater than two? Well, the three, the four, the five, and the six. So the number of successful outcomes, which is four, over the number of possible outcomes, which is six, and so that would be two thirds. And that's all on that one. All right, let's take a look at the next one. All right, suppose you roll two fair dice. Find the following probabilities. Okay, so in this one, we're going to need to. Uh, We'll have to write out the sample space 
and let's see if I, I may have enough room right in here I don't know but we will uh, we'll look and see uh, let's see let's do this and we'll do it in red and so one way to look at it we can write the first die going across the top and the second die going down the bottom so let's see let's start right here we'll have a one a two a three four five six and then the the other die one two three four five six all right so it's going to be kind of tight let me see what we can do here one two three four five six all right and let's see if i can do this maybe i don't know how straight i can get my lines but so we can kind of I know they're probably not straight, but let's look at this. All right. So if we look at this, we can see that if we uh, if we write out our sample space <clears throat> we we can get it we could get a one on the first die and a one on the second okay or we can get a two on the first and a one on the second so if we write this out we could get a one one I'm going to put a one dash. This is what I would get on the first die, a dash, and then what I would get on the second die. Okay. Or you can look at it. This is the second. This is the first. It doesn't matter. So here, let's look at this. So this would be what? Let's just do one. We'll do this one, this one. Okay. And then one three, one four, one five, and then a one and a six. Okay. For this one, I could get a 2-1, 2-2, 2-3, 2-4, 2-5, Two, six. So hopefully you can see where this is going. And I'm going to go ahead and fill out the rest of the table, and I'm going to pause the video while I do it. All right, so I've got the table filled out. <clears throat> and so these are all the possible outcomes, and there's 36 of them. Okay, so there's 36 of them. All right, so here we want to know the probability of rolling a 2 and a 5 in no particular order. Okay, so we're going to call this event E. So I don't have to write all that out. So the probability of E, remember, is the number of successful outcomes over the number of possible outcomes. Well, we know the number of possible outcomes is 36. So now we need to go find everything that has a 2 and a 5. All right, so let's look. All right, so let's see. Here's one. See this one, the 2 and the 5. So there's one. There's another one. There's a two and a five, and it says no particular order. Okay, so there's two of them, and that's going to be it. So the number of successful outcomes is two, and so this would be one over 18. Okay, you, hopefully you can see how much easier it is, or how easy it is once you get that sample space. Sometimes just writing out the sample space may be the toughest thing. All right, what about the probability of rolling a sum of five? <clears throat> All right, well, let's look at that, the sum of five. So let's use, I'll do this. So let's find everything that means the two dice have to add up to five. 
Well, look at here. Here's 1. 1 plus 4, 2 plus 3, 3 plus 2, and 4 plus 1. See there, it's all of these right here. All of those add up to 5. Okay, and there's nowhere else do they add up to 5. All right, so we'll call this probability sum of 5. Okay, well, how many successful outcomes are there? Well, there's 1, 2, 3, 4. And so that's going to be 4 over the number of possible outcomes, which is 36. And so that's going to give me 1 9. Okay, so let's see if I can erase that. I got the 4 with it. Okay. Alright, so let's look at the next one. What's the probability of rolling doubles? That means like a 1, 1, a 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4. Well, that's easy. So you can see it's this diagonal right here. That's the only time where there's doubles. So that would be, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, the number of successful outcomes over the number of possible outcomes, and so that would be 1 sixth. All right, how about this one? Probability of rolling an even number on the first die and an odd number on the second die. Okay, wow. Okay, so even number on the first and odd number on the second. We're going to call that event E. So the probability of E, well, let's see, an odd, no, an even on the first and an odd on the second. Okay, so uh, let's, I guess we need to, let's go ahead and label this. We'll label this the first die, and we'll label this one the second die. Okay, so these are the second die, these are the first. So basically what we'll do is we'll roll one, and then we'll roll the other. Okay, because if you roll them at the same time, well, which one's the first, which one's the second? Okay, all right, so... So, an even on the first and an odd on the second. So, this will be the first, this will be the second. Alright, so, I know, see, the, this one, that's one, one, that's, this is what I've written first. So, I know, well, look at this. We can say, okay, this line here is not going to work this line's not going to work and this line's not going to work because we need an even on the first. All of these, the first die is odd. See the one, the three, and the five. So I can rule those out. So let's look at this. So an even on the first and odd on the second. So there's an, there, here's one. There's one odd on the even on the first, odd on the second. That one's not. Here's even, odd. Okay. And there's another one. And then we go down here. Okay. And then this one. So there's all my possible outcomes where I have an even on the first and an odd on the second. So let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine outcomes. So the number of successful outcomes would be nine over the number of possible, 36, and that would give me one fourth. So I went, went a pretty good while on that one. We're up almost 15 minutes, so I'm going to stop it and I'll continue in part three. All right, don't forget to like and subscribe and. Watch the next parts. Alright, thanks.